Hey gorgeous, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a June Beauty Box Smash or Pass video. So I've got a lot of products to go over. I had I had an extra beauty box as well. I will definitely try to get through uh, my regular beauty boxes so that we can look at some more products from my uh, Sunkissed Glow Kit that I got from Sephora earlier last month and my Vox Box as well because I got a couple of products in both of those to, uh, to kind of report on. So we're going to try and speed through just a little bit. Some of these are self-explanatory so I really don't have to go into it too much but let's get started. All right, honey, we are going to start with last month's Ipsy, and we're going to start off with the sheet mask that I got. This is the Aloe Rescue by Bio Republic. It came in a set of two. I got to try the other one, and I loved it, so I'm smashing that. Next up, we've got the Balm Springs. This is a blush or eyeshadow. I'm digging it. It is kind of light. I've got it on now. It does take some building, but I love it. Smash. Next, we've got the Beauty For Real liner. This one is that really pretty. Oh, it won't roll up for me. It's a gold liner. I know you can kind of see that. Smash. I love getting eyeliners. Um, and especially ones that aren't black in my beauty boxes because we always get black eyeliners in our beauty boxes for some reason. So that was awesome. Good job, Ipsy. Next up is the City Color Cosmetics Shimmer Shadow in Beach Cottage. Beach Cottage. Good riddance. All right. So this is like an emerald green with a gold shine back to it. Ooh. I love it. I'm smashing this one. I'm still using it from time to time, too, so that's awesome. Next up, we've got the NYX Whipped uh, Lip and Cheek Color, and this is kind of like a, a nude brown. I've actually got it on right now. You know, it's not terrible, but I'm going to have to pass on this one just because I'm not really liking this formula. It is kind of sheer. And it goes on, it goes on nicely, and it does look very, you know, pigmented, but once it dries down, it's kind of, it's kind of, I don't know how to explain it. I don't like it, so pass. All right, honey, next up, we are going to do my June Sephora Play products. So let's start with this perfume, the Alien Perfume. Girl, I'm loving this. I'm smashing it. Next up, I've got the Briogeo Curl Charisma, and I'm not going to try this one because I, I don't do curly hair. My hair doesn't hold curls. It's naturally slightly wavy, so this isn't my thing, but I'm going to smash on this company because this is one of two products that I have to have. It's a must-have for my hair care, and this one in particular, oh, I love it. This is the Rosarco. Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. I use it religiously after every wash, and it is fabulous. So, I love Briogeo. I'm smashing the company. Next up, I've got the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Fine Hair Styler. Now, this one was okay. I'm going to say smash because it isn't bad. It does work. Um, but it is kind of like a lighter formula than what I like in my hair creams and what have you, so, eh, but smash. Next up is the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. This is like, it's a face primer and it's got some sunscreen. I'm smashing it. Girl, I have been reaching for this just about every single day since I got it. And, um, you know, it's very comparable to the Smashbox photo finish that everybody loves. So I highly recommend it, especially for summer, because it's got some sunscreen. Next up, speaking of sunscreen, I've got the Tarte Guard 20. Now, this is a BB cream, and I got the color medium. And I actually have a favorite BB cream already. It's by Perlis. 
Um, but I really like this one, and it is uh, very, very comparable to that. It's not too terribly greasy, but being a BB cream, it is very heavy, so definitely look out for that if you have super oily skin or you're breaking out. But this stuff is perfect for going to the beach, and you don't want to throw a bunch of makeup on that's just going to wash off anyways. Smash. I love me some tart. And finally, for my Sephora Play, last product is the Kat Von D in K-Dub. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I love this one. Just because the color is so, it's so unique and bright and vibrant and it's perfect for summer. And since I already got one, um prior to my Sephora play last month. I'm giving that one away, but I'm keeping the one that I already have, and I use it regularly, so smash! Moving on, we are going to do my June Boxy Charm products next, and we will start with the highlighter dust that I got here. This is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. Girl, you already know that I'm smashing this. I've been using this on the regular. Let's see if we can get a little swatch going. And it's just, oh, it's so pretty. And they sent us so much. I love it. I am so obsessed with gold this year. So I'm really digging this. I've been using it as a highlight for my inner corner, brow bone, uh, bridge of my nose, everywhere. I've been highlighting everything everything with it um and it is it is somewhat of a softer highlight i know on camera it looks a whole lot brighter that's because i put a good bit on there but you can totally build it up to be super intense or keep it kind of soft and i'm digging that so smash next up is the Afro lippy i believe i got santa anna it, as you can see, the writing's gone, doesn't have a little thing on the bottom. I'm pretty sure that this one was Santa Anna, and it's a really pretty, like, pink berry color, and it's a wonderful matte formula. Very comfortable, not too drying, but it wasn't as long-lasting as I would like. That being said, I'm still smashing this. I love it and the color. Next up, we are going to do the Lexi 640. Pro Perfection Tapered Brush. Now, this is a little weird. Um, honestly, I'm kind of on the fence with it because I couldn't really, I couldn't really find a good use for it. Like, it does, it does okay with getting, um, like, setting powder out from underneath my eyes. And it did alright getting the highlighter on, but it just, it feels a little interesting. Um, it's loose at the top, and it's not as stiff as, like, my blush brushes or my regular highlighting brushes are, so it took some getting used to, but I'm definitely smashing this brush and this company. I love Lexi Brush. Next up is the BioBell Masks. We received three of them. This is the one that I really, really wanted to try, but I went for the other one and I had to keep one for this video, so... I can't wait to check this one out, and I love the other two. Um, the Beauty Secret mask I had already tried before, and I know I loved it. The other one was a little weird because it was rose smell. I can't stand that rose smell, but it did work. It felt nice. It was a lovely mask. I'm digging it, so smash on that. And our final product with BoxyCharm this month was the Real Her palette. I got the number one Be Your Own Kind of Beauty, and it came with nine pretty shadows. Looks like I got two mattes and seven shimmers, and I love that they put all these like super positive names for their colors. Now, I didn't try this one, I'll be honest, um, because I can just see myself kind of throwing it in my travel kit and just leaving it. I didn't want it to be, you know, unused and unloved. And really, I have all of these colors at least three times over. So I'm going to be passing this on to a beauty sister to review for me and let me know how it goes. But I will say smash on principle because 
I have a couple of other products from this company and I really enjoy them but the main thing with this company is that they take I believe 20% of all sales and put it towards programs for women and girls um, and I love that I I I can get behind something good for the community so I'm gonna smash real her all right, gorgeous. Next up, we are going to do my Lola Beauty Box for the month of June. And we are going to start with the Duosity Double Whipped Repairing Treatment by Omnipotent Hair Care. So I know I kind of messed up the name when I first unboxed it. I was a little confused as to what was going on there. But I'm actually really digging this treatment. It's not super heavy, so it's not like really, really conditioning, but it really does kind of soften up the hair. And the only thing that I'm kind of not liking is this little two-hole deal going on down here, just because more comes out of the white side than it does the peach side. And um, it's kind of hard to squeeze right in the middle to get them perfectly even, but it does whip up nicely and goes on the hair great. Didn't leave it all greasy. I'm digging it, girl. Next up is my Jumbo Kabuki brush from Crown Brushes. I love Crown. I'm totally smashing this. This is the one that I've had for a couple of months now, but I love it for my cheekbone contour and going around the face. It picks up product nicely. I will be giving away the one that I got from Lola Beauty Box last month, but I'm digging it. I'm smashing this one, girl. Next up is the La Ritzy Lip Pencil in Bu, and it's a really pretty, like, dark red berry. Now, I'm going to have to pass on this one because it took several goes at it to kind of get the color, like, really on there, and it was a little bit rough. However, that being said, once it did go on, it was kind of nice. Um, so... It's it's really up to your preference. I don't I don't like this type of lip pencil, so I'm gonna say pass. Next up, I got the Hikari eyeshadow quad in Emma, and it's a really nice, almost slightly colorful yet neutral palette that I think would go with everybody. Now I did give it a quick test run, and I love the mattes, but I'm really not digging this because it's a really, it's a really sheer shimmer. And to say that I'm going to be passing on the shimmer color, but the mattes, girl, I'm digging them. Fabulous formula. So mostly smash right there. Next up is the. Catherine Casefort Beauty Wow Stick, and it looks like this. Just a little stick product right there. Now, they sent me a dark color. They sent me um, dark to deep, or deep to dark, and, um, you know, I, I didn't put it on because it's not my color. I'm going to be passing this on to my sister, but just with the initial, like, hand swatch that I did, I kind of let it sit there for a hot minute and just kind of see how the formula played out. It's really greasy, so I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to pass on this one, even, even ignoring the color issue or what have you. The formula just, I don't like it, so pass. Darlin, since I I do have a couple of extra minutes of record time. I figure I could show you a couple of the products that I got in my box box and kind of go over one or two products from my Sunkissed Glow Set from the Sephora Favorites kit that I got earlier in the month of June. So we're going to start with these because these have to be one of my favorite products that I got from Fox Box. This is the We Dodd uh, Frizz Advanced Climate Control Defrizzing Conditioner and Shampoo. I love the smell and it really does help with the frizz um, in my hair and it's not heavy or greasy and I'm going to have to go out and get some more of this because I love it so much. So I'm smashing those. And then the Dermalogica uh, Stress Positive Eye Lift, I'm loving this stuff. Now, I don't think it helped very much for my under eye darkness, and uh, it 
it does have a little bit of grease to it so during the day because I use it twice a day during the day I don't put too much on but at night I pile it on and I love it there's no puffiness and it feels nice it's got this nifty little like metal applicator that's kind of slanted that you use to kind of rub everything in I'm smashing this one and then this towel right here oh my gosh you remember this this giant hair towel Oh, it's perfect. I love it. Um, you know, I'm not sure if it actually helps speed up drying time, but I love this towel because it's just, it's so convenient and awesome. So I'm smashing that. And then this brow food, um, aqua brow powder and pencil duo, I'm going to smash it just because it's a two in one product. And while the color wasn't exactly, I, uh, while the color wasn't exactly mine, um, it did go on really nicely, and the powder uh, product down here actually surprised me a little. The only thing that I'm not liking is how short this pencil is. That's it. Otherwise, it's a fabulous product, and I'm smashing it. The Sigma Beauty uh, Large Angled Contour Brush and the Aura Powder in Nymphaea. I'm loving it. While it is a lighter formula and you kind of do need a thicker and stiffer brush to really get her on there and it will take some building if you don't have light or light to medium skin tone, I really like it. Now it says you can use it all over and being that it's pink, of course I didn't just throw it everywhere. Um, and being that it's kind of a lightweight formula, I don't know about eyes and lips, but on the cheeks it's beautiful. So I'm smashing both of these. This brush is really nice and heavy, and it works really well for that blush. I like it. And finally, the Jula Boost Your Radiance um, Reparative Rose Hip Seed Facial Oil. I really like this one. I'm smashing it. It's not like a a must-have thing for me, but it smells really nice. It's not super, like, heavy oily, you know what I mean? So, I'm smashing it. And really quickly before we go, I've got just three of the, I believe, nine products that came in with my Sunkissed Glow Kit last month. You can check that video out. It's a, it's a couple weeks back, so just scroll on down and take a look. But this Hourglass Ambient Bronzer, I know I mentioned it on my favorites video, and I've been using it a lot lately, but girl, I am smashing the ever-loving hell out of this. I love this bronzer. If you can get a hold of it, I highly recommend it. Um, and then next, I've got the Marc Jacobs eyeliner in Rococo. So I said that I was a little upset because you can't you can't really sharpen it. It's like a roll-up liner and it's metal so you can't sharpen it. Somebody saved the day and let me know that there's actually like a little plastic sharpener for it at the bottom. And you just kind of roll this up a little bit extra, and bam, it sharpens. One last thing before we go, I've got the Milk Makeup Liquid Strobe in Beam. Now this is like, it looks like a really pretty golden bronzy kind of a glowing thing. And once it really gets on there, it's, it's kind of pretty, it's subtle, but it's, oh um, yeah, see, it's very subtle. I'm going to have to pass on this stuff. Um... It took my makeup with it, uh, not just that one time on camera, but I tried to use it like three other times just to see what I was doing wrong. Girl, mm -mm. no, I'm going to pass on that, and sadly, that is the second Milk Makeup product that I have used and not loved, so they got one more chance to wow me, and I'm about done with their brand. All right, baby doll, that is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this game of Smash or Pass with the Beauty Box products from last month. They are pretty, they did pretty good. There was only a couple of sma uh, passes in there, and I really loved most of these products, like loved them, and I've been using a lot of them um, regularly, if not daily, so that's awesome. But in the meantime, that is it for today. I am picking out a winner for my summer favorites 
a giveaway tomorrow, so if you haven't checked out my second Jaclyn Hill palette video, go back and do that as well so you can get entered. But for now, that is it, and we are done. Go off and enjoy your weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Go out and spread some love and positivity today. We could all use some extra, and in the meantime, I love you, and you are so gorgeous. Mwah. Bye, everyone.